everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you stopping by to watch today's video. I'm really excited about this one. This is my first collaboration video. It is with David from David's Closet and I will go ahead and link his video down below. So I met David through YouTube. He does videos as well. He carries some men's bags, some women's bags, and we started just chatting by commenting on each other's videos and then following each other on Instagram and we were chatting there and he suggested we do a collaboration video. So I thought, why not? How fun is that? Let's do it. I'm going to link his video below. Uh, please check out his channel. He has some great stuff and I'm always jealous uh, looking at his great finds. Uh, he finds some great stuff on Fashion File and I've just been too nervous to pull the trigger and buy something from them. Um, so give his channel a look and um, subscribe to his channel as well. Uh, he's got some great stuff, as I said. So we decided our collaboration topics were going to be our favorite uh, designer luxury brand and our favorite bag from that brand, our favorite contemporary luxury brand and our favorite bag from that brand, what it's like to be a, a guy who does carry handbags and women's handbags as well. We both do. And then the contemporary luxury and designer luxury handbags that are really at the top of the list. I've got two here I'm gonna show you today. That will be at the end of the video. Before we get into it, if you love handbags as much as I do, please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified when I upload new content, please tap that notification bell. So I'm gonna dive right in, start with my favorite luxury designer brand. Um, this is a tough one for me because it really is Louis Vuitton, Dior, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Louis Vuitton, Dior, back and forth. I will say just from an authority as, as that, ugh, I get tongue twisted, so I'm not going to use aesthetic. Is that the right word? Um, I can't say that word. So from just a beauty perspective, Dior is my favorite brand. I think everything they do, it's just art. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's stunning. With Louis Vuitton, I am obsessed with their classic monogram pattern. And I'd probably say Dior is my favorite favorite brands, but my favorite luxury brand for just daily usage is Louis Vuitton because I feel like I have more options at Louis Vuitton than I do at Dior. For both of them, I'm not too crazy about the men's section, although Dior definitely to me has better options for men. They're, the, the stuff that's in their men's side, some of it definitely blurs the lines. Like they have a male saddle bag and they have uh, male bags in the oblique pattern. And some of them do lean towards the feminine side, which I think is great. Um, but like Louis Vuitton, who does have monogram, they do have some of the classic monogram on their men's side. Um, both Louis Vuitton and Dior seem to use a lot of black. It's a lot of black with the blue oblique with Dior and a lot of black with the classic brown monogram pattern at Louis Vuitton. And I'm just not crazy about black. I just really, I don't buy black bags. I, I don't mind if there's little black accents, but these bags on the men's side, they have big black accents. Although Dior definitely has more options and they have a really cool modern twist on the CD, um, like monogram pattern on their men's bags. So I have looked more on the Dior men's side and I'm considering some things. So I would say if I was buying from the men's side, it would 100% be Dior. If I'm buying from the women's side, it's probably going to be 90% LV. Um, so... That's why I'm going to talk about Louis Vuitton today, and I'm going to show you my favorite bag. It is absolutely my favorite bag in my collection. It is not the one I reach for the most. That will be the Louis Vuitton Pachat Matisse or my new Dior small camp bag. Um, but my favorite bag in my collection is definitely this uh, Louis Vuitton Clooney in the MM size. You can see it's in the classic monogram. It's quite beautiful. It does have 
gold hardware there, but not too much gold hardware. And it's just a really nice bag. It does have the Vaquetta leather there, which is really beautiful. Um, that is going to age and tan and turn into like a dark honey color over time. Um, I am looking forward to when that finally happens. I do have it packed up because I have to go downtown later. So it does have the nice magnetic closure flap here, which is great. And it does have a slip pocket on the back, which I love. It fits my huge iPhone. This is the biggest iPhone. It fits in there with room to spare. And one of the crafty things we did, oh God, it's cloudy here today. So I'm worried about my lighting. But the this is all one piece of canvas here. So for the flap to have the LV upright, that means it all has to be upside down on the back side. But the way they stitched the back pocket in here with canvas with the monogram right side up makes the entire back look right side up as well. And then it does have the four feet. On the sides, it does have button closures here to keep the, the top narrow. I leave them open because I find when you close them and you go into the bag, they pop open anyway. Uh, it did come with a clochette on it that had a clasp at the end of it so you could hook something else onto that, but I don't know why you would. Sometimes I hang my coin pouch from here with my AirPods in it. Um, it also came with a thick shoulder strap that's super short, so it doesn't work for me. So I picked up this Vaquetta leather strap from Etsy. It really matches really well. I'm sorry, my lighting just doesn't appear to be that great right now but they did get the color of the glazing super close. It's a little bit brighter, but not as bright as what you would see on a lot of those fakes. So it is an adjustable shoulder strap. And when you put the shoulder strap on, clipping it to the front of the handle on the left side, and then when you clip it to the left, or excuse me, the back of the handle on the right side, and see what it does it keeps this this uh the handle keeps it straight up which is great because otherwise if you put the strap on the same side it's either going to go like this or it's going to go like this and dig into you so this strap really has worked perfectly to carry as a shoulder bag on the inside here it does have the two slip pockets in the back with the louis vuitton does it even say Paris? Yeah, Louis Vuitton Paris. This one was made in France. And then it's just really a big open pocket. So you can get a lot of stuff in here. I can get my 11 inch iPad Pro in here. Um, so this will potentially work as an underseat carry on bag because I can get my iPad and anything I would need except snacks and a bottle of water, which I could just carry on um, in a bag from the store at the airport. So there it is. I did a video on this bag, so you can check that out, but this is a beautiful bag. Now for my favorite contemporary luxury brand, I'm gonna have to give that nod to Aspinall of London. I've done a review on a few of their bags. I learned of them from a girlfriend who loved this brand for quite a number of years. And so I did buy a few things from them and I love them. Their, their quality is great. They're constantly releasing new colors and new items, which is really nice. Uh, my favorite bag from them here is the London Tote and this is in the Cornflower. This was a spring summer 2021 um, color. It's no longer available, but this is a great big tote bag. I, it, it fits over my shoulder, but it's not comfortable because this comes right up to my armpit. So I never sling it over my shoulder. I carry it by the handles. You can see there, it just says Aspinall of London, England. Um, it's got these really nice, sturdy handles here. It does have five feet on the bottom, but it has a saggy bottom. So again, I'm going to say it about feet. People get so excited when there's feet on the bottom, but 
this is going to do little to protect the bottom of the bag. It's going to protect right around where the feet are. The rest of this surface is going to sit on the ground um, and uh, have contact with whatever's on that ground. So it's nice that it has feet that will, I think, prevent some wear on the bottom, but it's not going to protect the bottom again from anything that might be on the ground if you set it on the ground but I do love it. It's a big bag. It's got um, a lot of room inside. It does have this strong magnetic closure here um, that finds its way when you close it. So that's great. It has two big slip pockets in the front. Here is my giant iPhone. It fits perfectly in the front pocket there. So I really like that. It's also got, whoops, it also has a big zip pocket in the back and then a central dividing slip pocket there. And that was one of the reasons why I hesitated on getting this bag because I did not think I would like to have a divider down the middle. I love it. When you put a 13 inch laptop or an iPad Pro in here, it, it, it obviously creates a really sturdy barrier and it just makes organization so much easier. So I absolutely love this bag. It's a great summer bag. They have several different colors and this is the regular London tote size and they do have a smaller size as well. And the smaller size I think comes with a shoulder strap. This does not. I love this A design for Aspinall on each side. I think it's really graphic and really cool. And you can see how well the stitching is. I mean, this quality is just so good. And the leather has softened up a bit over time. So thank God they do have that middle compartment there because that helps this bag keep its structure. So there you have it, my favorite luxury designer bag and my favorite luxury contemporary bag. Um, my favorite brands, Louis Vuitton slash Dior and Aspinall of London. Now I wanna talk about what it's like for a man to carry a bag and especially women's bags. This bag thing, it started for me a long, long time ago. I've always carried bags. I just never have liked stuff in my pockets. So if I, 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 you know, back in my 20s and 30s when I would go to bars and clubs, of course I wouldn't bring a bag then and I would just suck it up and suffer with stuff in my pockets. But I always used bags any other time. Um, typically it would be a small messenger bag for an everyday bag and a larger messenger bag for a work bag. So the last two I used were a small Samsonite gray messenger bag, which I loved. It was a great travel bag and a larger uh, Tumi type messenger bag that was really nice. I never liked backpacks, so it just got boring. And then early COVID, it must have been around April 2020, I was um, going uh, through Instagram and an ad appeared for uh, the Troubadour Adventure Tote. And I, I think it was the first video I did was a review of that bag. But I thought, wow, this is really different than anything I've ever had. I'm going to get it. It looked beautiful in the ad and the pictures on the website and all of that. So I got it. Um, it was beautiful. I didn't really like the construction of it. It wasn't a fault of Troubadour. It was just the way the bag was designed. It looked kind of sloppy to me. You can check out my uh, review on that. But that started piquing my interest. And you can see, I mean, if you just hit videos under my name and scroll and start at the bottom and just glance up, you, could, you can see the handbag journey I've gone on. And what appealed to me was that it was just something different. So I thought, I'm going to start looking for something better that works for me. So I did Fall Raven and Dooney and Burke and um, what was that other one? Peak Design. And then, you know, it, it just snowballed from there. And I really, then after Peak Design, I stopped looking really on the men's side of um, 
uh, of a retailer sites and really looked on the women's side. For me, I mean, this is, I think this is probably, this or the Belmont is probably the most feminine bag that I have. They're still aligned for me and I just might cross it with the Lady Dior. That is just a, such a beautiful bag, but that is really over that line where it's too feminine, but I might just say F it and get it because it's just so beautiful. Um, but I thought as long, I mean, this is okay. This is pretty feminine too. And I'll, I'll segue into uh, a little bit of story time here. So I don't care what most people think. I certainly don't care what strangers think. I don't really care what friends think or I don't care what family thinks about my choices of fashion or handbags. What I do care about is I do care about what clients think and I care about what centers of influence think. So I go to networking events and I think you just, you don't want to draw too much attention to yourself. So I don't know that I would go to a networking event with either of these two bags. I don't even think I would go to a networking event with a designer bag that's really even from the men's line. Maybe, who knows? Um, but I don't care what strangers and friends and family think. In fact, when I went to Louis uh, during work and brought this back to the office when I got it and I showed my boss and another female coworker, my boss is male, uh, when I showed him it, he laughed and said, oh, is that a gift for your mom? And then he said, I'm joking, that's a beautiful bag. And then I was actually out and about with this one day and I have friends who live above me, male friends, and I was coming home and one of them was leaving and he saw this bag and said, hello, madame. And, you know, I have a good sense of humor about it. But for me, it's a style thing. It's not like I'm worried that if I carried the most feminine bag that people would laugh at me because who cares? If you need to laugh at someone to make you feel better, that says more about you than it does about the person you're laughing at. But it's just style-wise. How far can I go? Maybe I'll go further. Maybe this is all part of the process and the the, the, the story that I'm creating in, in my handbag journey. Um, but I think, shit, if, if Harry Styles can carry a Gucci Jackie bag, then I can carry anything. Um, so I don't really have any qualms. I've taken this out today and I'm going to love carrying it. It just is beautiful and it makes me happy. Why not? Um, but I think more and more men are starting to carry handbags and they're starting to carry women's handbags. When I was in Paris last year, I went into La La Lacoste and I bought this little tiny orange like camera bag and I had asked the sales associate that was helping me, I said, is this a man's or a woman's bag? And she said, it's a bag for whomever loves it. Fashion has no gender. And that's really where we're headed. We're headed to a place where you see men wearing women's clothes and carrying women's handbags. And you can just do a simple Google search, men carrying women's handbags, men wearing women's clothes. And it'll show you, of course, most of them are gay men, but there are straight men out there who carry Birkin bags. And there are straight men out there who carry Jackie Gucci Jackie bags. So the fashion is evolving and men are starting to take more risks. And I don't understand why more men don't carry bags. I think, how the hell do you leave the house with everything you need in your pockets? And how uncomfortable is that? So I think it's been exciting. It's been exciting to see that we've really left the man bag era behind and we've really just shifted into handbags. And maybe someday we will see just handbags on these designer and contemporary websites. Uh, I know women, you can see YouTube videos of women buying on the men's side. And I think that's less, I don't even want to say taboo because I don't even think it's taboo for a man to buy a woman's bag. But I think in general society, a woman buying a man's handbag or a woman wearing men's clothes is is somewhat less 
mat than men doing that. Uh, there was a coach ad a few months ago on Facebook, and it was a man, and he was carrying a very feminine women's handbag. And there were just tons of nasty comments, and a lot of them by women saying, where are the real men? There's no real men left anymore. And I just think, what triggers these people into caring so much about what other people are doing. I think if you find joy in something, why should I suppress this joy? Why should I see this bag on the shelf at Louis Vuitton and absolutely love it and think, no, I shouldn't, I can't have that because it is a woman's bag? No way, not gonna do that. Like I said, personal style-wise, I'm a guy, I wanna be a guy. Uh, I've always been envious my whole life of two things that you ladies have, handbags and shoes. I can guarantee I will never be on here doing a review of a new pair of high heels I bought. They're uncomfortable. I already know that. And I have no interest in actually wearing them, but I do look at them and admire them. But handbags is different to me, so why not? And I'm going to just see where this journey leads me um, when the right lady delight bag comes out from Dior, I'm going to snatch it up and I'm going to use it clangily charms and all. Uh, so there's my story. So I've had, I, I will end by saying I've had some guys comment or reach out to me on Instagram. Um, and, oh, I'm thinking about this bag. Do you think it's okay for a guy to use it? And they've been bags in my opinion so far that guys have asked about They've been bags where I certainly think they are unisex bags. Um, no one's asked me, I'm a guy, is this too lady for me? But it's interesting to see that I am getting those messages on Instagram and comments on some of my videos. And I say, live your life and who cares? If somebody is judging you about anything, again, that says more about them than it does about you. If you are doing something you love, as long as it's not harming anyone else. If you are wearing what you love, doing something you love, who cares? Live your truth. Like, I freaking love Johnny Weir. His reels on Instagram just crack me up, and I want to live in his world because the world he's created for himself is just the most beautiful, most joyous world. If you don't know who Johnny Weir is, he is a U.S. figure skater. He skated at the 2006 Winter Olympics. He had a really long, successful career. He comments on figure skating now at the Olympics, Worlds, Europeans, all of that stuff. He wears women's clothes most of the time, and he has a most amazing collection of Birkin handbags. Um, but he lives his truth, and... I get so much joy out of watching that. And I just, I did comment once. I said, I want to live in your world because it is the most fabulous, beautiful, and joyous place I've seen on social media. But he gets those nasty comments and he just doesn't care. He is who he is. He's always been that way. So I look up to people like that and I look up to anyone who just lives their truth. So guys, if you're watching this and you see women's bags you like, who cares? Grab them, use them, you will get joy out of them. Now I'm gonna segue into um, two clips of uh, the uh, luxury handbag. I am looking at the number one on my list um, and, uh, or excuse me, I should say the designer luxury handbag and the contemporary luxury handbags that are at the top of my list. And I would love your thoughts on this video and those bags below. As you all know, by now I am a sucker for the Louis Vuitton monogram print. So my top luxury designer handbag right now on my wish list is the Louis Vuitton Alma MM size. Uh, you can see Notify Me, it's never available. Um, I'm not quite ready and I don't really have the money now to buy it. So I'm just going to keep being on the lookout for it to become available. And next time I stop by the boutique, I'll ask them if they have one in stock. Um, but what really attracts me to the Alma is just uh, the look of it. I think it is a really cool looking bag. And I think it is a woman's bag, but I do think for me, it's not 
too feminine. So I think I could get away with carrying this. And what I really love is the Vaquetta leather handles. They are nice, thick, sturdy handles. And the Vaquetta leather trim, it looks really cool too. And that's gonna turn into a beautiful honey color. And I love that you'll be able to carry it by the top handles and you can attach a shoulder strap on here as well, most definitely. So this could really turn into a everyday bag and then at night you could certainly take it out uh, using the shoulder strap just like on my uh, Clooney MM. You can attach the shoulder strap to the front left and the back right and that will keep the handle standing straight up while you have the shoulder strap attached to it. I love the monogram pattern and because this is two different pieces of um, canvas here the the monogram is right side up on both the back and the front of the bag. Um, it does also have the lock up here which you can see which you can lock it and then it comes with the clochette with the key on it. I would probably remove and store both the lock and the clochette. While they're a nice feature, absolutely. If somebody steals this bag or I leave it somewhere or if it gets in another person, a dishonest person's hands and I have it locked, well, they can make a choice. Do they just cut through the canvas and get the contents of the bag? Or they actually probably could really pick the lock really easily. There's this guy who does um, I can't remember the name of his channel. I'll try to remember to link it below, but he takes old bags and recreates them into new creations and his channel is fantastic. I have to remember to link that below. If I forget, please comment and I will go back in and add it because his videos are so cool, but he did actually just uh, do that with a really old Louis Vuitton bag that had a lock with it and the owner had lost the key and he easily picked the lock with a couple paper clips. So for me, I would not uh, carry the lock around, uh, but I do think this is a really beautiful bag. I love the shape of it, um, narrowing from bottom to top. So this could be a really nice all day evening bag and the dimensions, it's 14 and a half, or excuse me, 14.2 inches in length its height is 11 inches and it's 6.7 inches in width at the base um, let me see if it actually comes with its old, own shoulder strap i'm not seeing it here but you can see from the alma strap that i got on etsy you can easily find straps there and the gold really matches uh, so this is a really nice bag it does have um, feet at the bottom as well and that uh, double hap, uh, double handle uh, and the double zip closure, which is great. So this is a really cute bag. This is the one I am considering to be my next Louis Vuitton bag. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. For a luxury handbag that I'm currently considering uh, purchasing, it is from Mulberry. It's a English uh, luxury brand, a contemporary luxury brand. This is the Antony bag. It's in the Mandarin orange, heavy green leather, and it retails for $850. I have known about Mulberry for some time. I visited their website several times over the last year, year and a half, and I've never pulled the trigger on buying anything from them. I'm considering it now. This bag showed up in my social media feed a few weeks ago, and really what caught my attention was the color. I love orange, I love blue. They're my favorite colors. And I'm still really trying to find an orange bag that I could use, particularly in the summertime. And this really looks like a beautiful bag. So I am considering it. It does retail for 850 US dollars, if I didn't mention that. Um, obviously, there are no stores in the US, so you will have to order it. Um, but it does come in a variety of different colors with different hardware. We see black with silver there. There's like a checkered pattern on that one. Uh, I wonder what the difference is between these two. Oh, sorry about that. I wonder what the difference is between these two here. I'm not going to waste time in clicking on the description, but there's black with gold, white, another greenish checkered pattern. So they have a variety of colors and designs, which I think will appeal to a lot of people uh, because no matter what you like, there might be something here 
for you. But for me, it's the orange. I just love orange. I think it's such a beautiful color. And this looks like a really beautiful bag. So if we zoom in here, you can see the pebbled leather here. It's going to make it really durable with the silver hardware, which I love. I love silver hardware. Then it has the mulberry stamp here. So it's really nondescript. And, uh, and what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's not as loud as like a Louis Vuitton bag or a Dior bag. It's really, um, it, it doesn't stand out. That's what I'm looking for. Other than the color, of course, this color is going to pop and stand out. But I love that about this uh, particular bag. It does not have a back pocket here, which is always a disappointment for me. Um, that's the reason I'm really not pulling the trigger quite yet. That and I'm trying to steer away from animal products. Um, not all the time. I'm still not there yet. And the good thing about leather bags is they do, if they're well made, last forever. Uh, so I am considering this. Uh, there you can see the inside. It does have the Mulberry England stamp there. It looks like it has a front slip pocket with a turn uh, lock closure here to keep that flap closed and locked and uh, keep grubby little hands from digging in your bag when you're not aware. And here it is on a model. I think it looks great with that gray suit. And as I go to networking events, particularly in the summer, this is something I feel comfortable in carrying. So there you have it, uh, that beautiful orange color. I'll show you the dimensions right now. It is nine and one quarter inch height in height. It is eight and three fourths of an inch in width. So it's a little bit taller than it is in length or width. And the depth is two and three quarters of an inch and the shoulder strap runs 16 and a half to 24 and three quarters of an inch. So it's got a sizable adjustable shoulder strap. Um, if I didn't mention it, the Antony bag comes in two sizes, this the regular Antony and the uh, smaller Antony, which is called the small Antony bag. Uh, so give Mulberry a look. I think they've got some really nice stuff for both men and women. And this is the first men's bag I have considered in really over two years. So I guess that says something. Uh, but we'll see if I actually pull the trigger. I'm still looking. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this is definitely the top contemporary luxury bag I am considering. All right, so there you have it. There are my two top choices for contemporary luxury and designer luxury handbags that are currently on my list. Again, thank you for watching this video. I would love to hear your thoughts below. Both men, both women, um, whatever your pronouns are, whoever you are, I would love to hear your comments on this subject and what you think particularly about men carrying uh, women's handbags. Um, it is an interest to me and I would just love to hear your thoughts. So thank you again for stopping by, watching this video. I really appreciate it and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.